When you start out learning on your own, you may not get through all the positions the first time. This is perfectly normal. Try doing just four or five poses in succession. Then add a few more each day. Always go back over the ones you already know to begin each session and stick to the order shown. Then continue to learn some new ones. After you've tackled all 27 poses separately, start to do two sets of each exercise along with a video. Little by little does it every time. great shape and want to stay that way, but you're looking for a method to maintain your high standards, then I made this video for you. Are you almost in great shape, but not quite, and looking for that extra something that allows you to make the grade? Then I made this video for you too. Or maybe you've gotten to the point where you're just fed up. You've never been in great shape and you wish this whole fitness craze would dry up and blow away. Then I made this video especially for you. Hi. Hi, Hi Raquel. Good morning, Raquel. How are you doing? Oh, great. 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 Good. Let's get in shape. Roll tape. Raquel, total beauty, take one, sound one. All right, let's begin with a deep breathing exercise. Stand straight, feet together, bottom tucked under, stomach in. And now you'll put your hands under your chin, fingers interlocked. I'm going to demonstrate. First, you inhale to six counts. Feel the air vibrate off the back of the throat. And then exhale and whisper the word ah. Got it? Okay, let's begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. On the inhale, air will automatically come through your nose, so do concentrate especially on making it vibrate off the back of the throat. Ready? That's okay. It just shows how much you need this. Once you've got the breathing down, you've got it made. It sets you up great for the whole series.
troubles out. We'll be doing two sets of each exercise. The first set is to warm you up. And the second set is to help you make fast progress. So keep going. Gotta get your RPMs up. And relax. Now you're getting your energies going. Okay. The second posture is the reed pose. It's all about stretching. Arms up over the head, hands together, thumbs interlocking, and use me as your mirror image. So even if I say go to the left, you'll be going to your right, okay? And inhale, stretch to the ceiling, and to the right, stretch the left side of your body. Press the left foot into the floor. And exhale away your points of tension. This is a stretching pose though, not a bending one. So keep the tension in the side of your body. Keep the support there. And come up. Inhale, stretch to the ceiling. To the other side. To the left. Stretch the right side of the body. Feel it all along the right side of the body. Your right foot pressing into the floor, balancing out the weight of the arms in the other direction. And come up. <clears throat> Inhale, and we're going to arch back. Weight on the heels, press forward with the front of your body, your hips, your thighs. Relax your head, and let your head fall back. Reach hard with your arms and ease into the position. What you're seeing here is the ideal. So don't get scared, just do the very best you can. You'll still get good results. You have to start somewhere. By now, you should feel the blood coming into the head and the top of the body. It doesn't get there often enough, so this is really good for you. Keep pulling your forehead to your shins. How are you doing? <laughs> Shake it out a little bit. We're going to go for a second set. And feet together. Body nice and tight. Stretch to the ceiling. Inhale. And to the right. Exhale. And hold. This is all about staying power and holding the postures. Come up, reach for the ceiling, and do the other side. One side is always different from the other, so don't let that bother you. It's absolutely normal. This is my good side. And stretch. And come up. Inhale again. And release your inhibitions and arch back. Let your head go. Let the tension go in the back of your neck. Drop the head. Release the neck. You can make all the noise you want, whatever it takes. The idea is to hold your best position, even if you can't go all the way back. Easy does it. 
Inhale and come up. If you're a little dizzy, equalize for just a second and then dive forward from the hip bone. Touch your fingers to the floor in front of you. Go around and grab a hold of your heels, your thumbs touching the floor. Bend your legs and release your hips. Left, right, left, right. Get the kinks out of your palms. Press your tailbone up to the ceiling. I know, I know. You think you'll never do it. That's what I used to think, too. Hang in there. Feel the blood coming into the head, top of the body. It doesn't get there often enough. Yeah. Hands out, in front of you again. And come up. Arms to the side. Now you've got the blood flowing. <laughs> All right. Whew. Now I feel I got my engine started. All right. Third posture is the chair pose. Place your feet six inches apart. Arms straight out in front of you, parallel to the floor. Nice and straight body, shoulders relaxed. Release the hips and sit down on an imaginary chair. Keep your back reasonably straight. You're going to have to go forward, most of you, a little bit. Once you get down there, fix your eyes on one spot directly in front of you and don't change them for anything. Feel the weight shift to the back of your heels. Work those legs. We're working concentration and legs. We're not changing our eyes from one spot. Steady. Oh. This exercise helps develop your legs more evenly. And come up slowly with control. Settle, stand, inhale, and onto the toes. All the way up. Keep your eyes fixed. Bend the knees and come down. Second part. This section of the exercise is working on balance as well as concentration. Lifting straight, the string pulled up through the middle of the chest, the top of the head, shoulders relaxed. It's impossible to do this posture without concentrating. And come up, heels down on the floor. And the third part is up on the toes, knees together. And come down slowly with a straight back. Press your knees forward just a little bit. And hold. Just concentrate on that one spot and don't let anything else come into your mind. I hope your phone is off the hook. Forget about your electricity bills. your first set. Need a lot of concentration. Second set, feet still six inches apart, arms parallel to the floor, relax the shoulders, inhale, and sit. Release the hips. Weight on your heels. Check yourself in a mirror if you have one. Put your knees Line up with the feet, relax the shoulders, hold nicely with the abdomen and breathe. And come up, inhale, and come on to the toes. Keep your gaze fixed, and bend the knees, come down and sit on your imaginary chair once again, and hold. Relax the shoulders. Keep the back as straight as possible. This exercise looks a lot more difficult than it is, so don't be intimidated. Just follow the directions, and you'll see you'll be able to do it. And come up. Heels down. 
this time, come up just a little bit onto the toes, knees together, everyone, and straight back, lower yourself with control, down onto the heels. Toes your knees forward. Your body should look like a square from your side. Balance and concentration, two things you won't get in any other exercise program. Next pose is the eagle pose. We're going to work on balance this time, so stand on your left leg. Leg absolutely straight, knee locked. Arms to the side, leg pointed to the side, right arm under the left arm, hands in front of the face. Sit down six inches on your standing leg, wrap your right leg over the left, around and through. Now, square your hips, to the front. My hips okay? Uh-huh. Gang? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm straight? That looks good. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. And hold. Fix your eyes on that one spot. Focus in on me. Focus in on your video screen. And come up. And second side. Stand on your right leg, like absolutely straight, knee locked. And arms to the side, point your left foot, left arm under the right arm. And sit down on your leg six inches, wrap the left leg over the right leg. Do the best you can. If you have a mirror at home, you might want to check your hips in the mirror to make sure that they're even. Sure. Do you feel like a klutz? Are you still trying to get your arms and legs in the right position? <laughs> that happens to everybody, but it's worth it. And come up. Relax a moment. <sighs> Shake out your legs if you need to. <laughs> and we're going to do a second set. Stand on your left leg again. Arms to the side. Right leg pointed to the side. Right under the left arm. Hands in front of the face. Sit down six inches on your standing leg. And wrap the right leg around. Now, just in case you're wondering why I got you in this position, it's to condition your legs, arms, your shoulders, and back for the exercises ahead. Find your spot right in front of your face and don't move it. Even your hips up. Squeeze your legs together. And come up. Stand on your right leg. Left leg pointing to the side, arms open. And left arm under the right arm. Sit down on your standing leg, six inches. Wrap left leg over the right leg. Sit down, the last part of the second set. Keep your eyes glued to one spot, shoulders relaxed, and hold. And come up. Now that was balancing on one leg with the help of the other. This time we're going to do a balancing posture on one leg. Stand on the left leg, so standing head to knee, pick up the right leg. Interlock your fingers under the toes. Find a place right in front of you on the floor and don't move your eyes. Press your knee through, flex the leg straight. Heel kicking forward, go back against the toes. Press your heel out as hard as you can forward and pull back against the toes with your hands. Uh-huh. This is a real tough one. 
Yeah, it's hard in the beginning. But within 30 days, despite my pessimism, I found myself doing it. And how are you doing? Stand on the right leg. Knee absolutely locked, legs straight. Pick up your left leg. Wrap your hands around your foot. Pull back against the toes. Fix your gaze on one spot on the floor. Steady and press your leg through to the front. Press that heel through against the hands. Pull back against your toes with your arms and hands. You don't succeed at first, try, try again. Doesn't matter, nobody's perfect. Keep at it. Try not to judge yourself. This is not a competition. If you fall out, you've got lots of time to take a second chance. Use it. You can drop your head to your knee. That's not absolutely necessary. Staying is the most important thing. And come up. That's a balancing place. <laughs> good. That was good. Great. All right. Let's do the second set. Are you ready? Second set is easier. And stand on the left leg. Lock your knee. Pick up your right leg. Get your spot on the floor. Hold. Steady yourself. And develop your leg forward. It's that spot on the floor that counts again. So don't move your eyes. It helps your balance a lot. This is another great exercise for the legs and the arms. It's a challenge, take it. was better. Already, improvements, progress, right leg. Relax, straighten your right leg tight, pick up the left leg. Stand, weight over the right leg, knee absolutely tight and locked. Press the leg forward, keep your spot. Even if you do this exercise only half well, you still get tremendous benefits from it. If you're having difficulty with balance, lean up against a wall for support, but don't give up. Try again. Everybody falls out some days. No two days are ever the same. Good, I'm glad I wasn't the first time to go. First one to go that time. Okay, that's a tough one, especially for beginners, but hang in there. Now we're going to move to the dancer's pose. This is a pretty one, so you'll want to do it well. Stand on the left leg, knee tight like before. Pick up your right leg, your right hand. Left arm up, and tilt forward. Kick back to the leg, and tilt forward with the front of the chest. Keep your standing leg absolutely straight and locked. The balance is pretty tricky in this one. You have to find the point where you can hold yourself steady over the standing leg. Don't worry, you won't fall. And come down. That's just the first set. Second set will be better. This takes a lot of coordination. That's what this posture is all about. Stand on your right leg. Pick up your left foot. Hand out to the side like this. Wrap it around from the inside. Got it? Good. And kick up. Tilt forward. Take whatever time you need to compose yourself. Don't be impatient. This exercise takes practice. You may feel overwhelmed at first, but keep trying. And come up. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, second set. Stand in the left leg again. This set should be easier. Pick up the right foot, hand on the inside, left arm up. Inhale, fix your gaze, steady yourself. Coming right on the heels of the standing head to knee, you'll probably feel yourself working up a sweat and your heart start to pound. But you're building stamina. Come up. Very good. Stand on the right leg, right arm up, hand out, pick up the leg, hand on the inside of the foot, In the beginning, if all you can do is pick up your foot and balance, that's all you need. It took me six weeks to get my leg up this high. While you're practicing, you're working on your thighs and buttocks. Stretch out a little bit before we go on. Probably need to gas up and catch your breath. You didn't know you could work this hard without jumping up and down, did you? <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're going to do the balancing T pose. Stand with your feet together, buttocks tucked under, stomach in, arms up over your head, hands together, thumbs interlocked. Inhale, a deep breath. Step forward with control onto your right leg. Body comes forward in a single line. The key to this pose is willpower. And in return, you're giving your heart and lungs the equivalent of an aerobic workout. Don't hold your breath. Breathe. And come back. Reach up together. Inhale, and step forward on your left. Tight body, forward in one line, form a T pose. This was one of the last postures that I was able to accomplish myself. I found it very difficult. And come up, step back. is all about determination and strength. Now, second set. We want to keep our stamina up and our RPMs going. Inhale. Step forward. Right leg. It used to make me so mad that I couldn't do it, that I'd just try harder. Finally, I got it. And come up, step back, move together, inhale, and step forward on the left foot. Control, tight leg, body absolutely tight in one line, rock forward. One good thing about it is that once you've got these exercises down, you never lose them. And believe it or not, this one is very calming once you learn how to do it. And come up. <laughs> and arms down to the side. That was very good. <sighs> Took a lot of control. That's really good for the aerobic activity. It's very good for the heart. The standing T-pose. Now we're going to do the standing A stretch. Arms over the head. You're going to love it. Step to the side, wide. Four feet apart, arms to the side. And now release your tailbone and come forward with your arms out like a bird. Higher, higher, higher. And just let the weight of your body do all the work. Straight legs, hold your heels, hold against your heels. Relaxing. And come up. 
come up slowly, arms to the side, stack the buttocks under, right leg back, together, and relax for a second. Mm. All right, second set, arms over the head, step to the side, arms down, tuck in the buttocks, now release and dive forward from the tailbone. Stick it way up, as far as you can. Hold your heels and pull. Head to the floor. Don't be too impressed with this position. The truth is, gravity does most of the work. You can increase your flexibility 100% by just relaxing into the pose and exhaling through the points of tension. Promise. Come up, this time bend your knees and roll your body up vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms to the side, right leg back to the center position and relax. You deserve it. Okay, now. Okay, now that was a little reviver because now we're going to do the triangle pose. Stand with your feet together, arms over the head, inhale and step to a very wide position. Legs about four feet apart. Buttocks under, turn your right foot to the side and lunge over your right leg and your knee thigh should be parallel to the floor hands open to the front and tilt your arms in one line stretch up to the ceiling look past your hand and hold feel your thigh muscles working press against your knee with your elbow and take all of the weight in your body and hips your thigh, none of it on your fingertips. That's just for decoration and line. <laughs> and come up. Turn your right foot in, tuck your buttocks under. Left foot turns out to the side. Center yourself and lunge over the left foot. Thigh parallel to the floor. Hold and tilt. Both arms in one line. That's beautiful. It's hard to keep your weight up. Reach for the ceiling. Don't put any of your weight on this hand here. You don't want to do anything like that. This is real good for the hips. Press against the knee with your elbow. Press your hips forward. Left foot back to the front, tuck your buttocks under, and right leg back to the center position, arms down to the side. Oh, that's a killer. Okay. Second set. Arms over the head, palms together. Step to the side wide. Turn your right foot to the side. Lunge down. And arms tilt. Don't forget to breathe. The triangle is pretty heavy duty stuff. So when in doubt, concentrate on your breathing and don't panic. It always works for me. And come up. Turn your right foot in. Left foot out. Center your hips. Tighten your buttocks. Lunge to the left, thigh parallel to the floor, and tilt the arms. You're probably not used to maintaining one position for a long time. Now you're being asked to stay and hold. So just breathe through the posture and use all your strength. Reach and come up. Left foot turns to the front and 
Back to the center position, arms to the side. Relax. And now we're going to do the standing A, head to knee. Arms over the head. Step wide to the side again, about four feet. Turn the right foot to the side and the body and the head as well. Drop your chin to the chest and the head to the knee. Straight legs. With control. Place your fingers on the floor, your hands on the floor. Head to the knee. And hold. The first priority above everything else in this posture is to touch the head to the knee. Just concentrate on that. Right foot turns to the front, hips tucked under, left foot turns to the side, body to the side, head to the side, chin to the chest, and forehead to the knee. In case you're wondering why you're staring at the dimples in your knee, it's to revive you after the exhaustion of the triangle pose. In the buttons and right leg back to the center position, arms to the side. Relax. Second set. This is a good transition out of the triangle pose into the next posture. One more time. Arms over the head. Step to a wide position. Feet four feet apart. Grip the floor with your feet. Turn your right foot to the side, your body and head to the side, chin to the chest, head to the knee. You see, the idea behind this method is to work up to a full effort gradually, and then to sustain that level as long as possible. This builds strength, stamina, and tones your muscles. Just when you thought you were running out of gas, you feel refreshed again. There is a method to the madness. And come up, inhale, foot to the front, tuck the bottom under, and come back to the center position, arms down to the side. And relax for a second. All right, that was a little reviver before we go on to the tree pose. Stand in the left leg, nice and straight and tight, knee locked. Fix your eyes on one spot directly ahead of you. Pick up your right foot. Fix your eyes on one spot right in front of you. For balance, place the right foot on the left thigh. Hands together against the chest in the prayer position. Elbows relaxed. And hold. Pull your body up. Posture straight. Tuck your hips under. Feel your hip release. And your knee press down and back. From the side, you should be in one line. The knee, the hip, and the back. We hope. And come down. Now in the right leg. Stand nice and straight. Center your weight. Pick up the left foot. Fix your eyes for balance. Place your left foot on your right thigh. And hands together in the prayer position. You may need it. If your knees feel stiff, do only as much as possible. You may have to keep hold of your foot and struggle along. Think about your posture standing nice and straight while tucking your hips under at the same time. This pose helps arthritis and knee problems, so don't worry. You'll limber up. And relax. Bring your foot down. All right, that's the end of the tree pose. Now we're going to go on to the toe stand. Stand on your left foot, pick up the right foot, and place it on the left thigh as you did before. 
Bring the hands together in a prayer position. Posture nice and straight, tuck your buttocks under, and bend the standing leg and go down. Oh, brother. Just when you thought you'd had enough trouble, you're confronted with this? Just bend your knee and come down with control. Once down, find that place on the floor three feet ahead of you. Now fix your eyes on that spot for balance, just as you did before. And come up the same way that you went down. Bring your leg off your thigh. And do the right leg. Stand in the right leg. Pick up the left foot. Place it on the right thigh. How you doing back there? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. um, uh, <laughs> this is all about center. Hands on the chest in the prayer position. And bend the right leg. Good show. <laughs> that pose is all about centering. So if you have to find your balance by moving your hands around like a traffic cop, that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. And then try to hold your center for as long as possible. You don't have to be perfect, just do the best you can. All right, now we're going to get our mats and do the floor postures. Good for you. <laughs> You can feel very good about yourself right about now. You've finished the standing postures. You've made it halfway. Relax on your back, your palms facing towards the ceiling in the dead man's pose. And do absolutely nothing. But breathe. your time to relax and clear your head. Don't go anywhere though, we'll be right back with a knee squeeze. And now, bend your right knee, take a hold of it with your fingers or interlocking and pull it to the chest. Chin down, neck flat against the mat. Other leg absolutely relaxed. Shoulders down and hold. This conditions your spine for the exercises ahead and it's super relaxing. And release. Bend your left leg. Both hands into the knee, fingers interlocking and pull it to your chest. Chin down. Neck flat against the floor. And hold. Oh, doesn't that feel good after all that work? <laughs> and down. Bring both knees up. Pass your elbows around them. And drop your back and neck onto the floor. Chin down. Relax your shoulders. And press your hips down into the mat. Try to get your whole Spine absolutely flat on the floor. Neck, shoulders, mid back, lower back, tailbone pressing down. Relax.
Now develop both your legs up in the air. Place your hands under your hips to support them and lower the legs with control using the abdominals to the floor. When you get almost down, hold them there. And release. Take your hands out. Relax. And now we're going to put our hands up over the head. Hands together and swing up. Grab a hold of your toes. Pull your toes up off the floor you can and stretch over the body. And turn around onto your stomach. Begin the floor posture. First pose, the cobra pose. Hands just stick to the breast. Buttocks tight, toes pointed, ankles together. On the inhale, press up with your hands next to the chest and bring yourself off the floor all the way up to the navel. Arms should look like 45 degrees from the side. And hold. Here we go again. Back at work on the floor. Breathe. No tension on the face. <laughs> and come down. Head to the side. Arms to the side. Palms up. Relax again. Eyes open. Don't let the energy go out of the body. Keep relaxed concentration. Breathe. Gas up. That was only the first set. And second set. Hands up to the breast again. And Press against the floor. Also use your back muscles. Tighten your buttocks. Feet together, toes pointed, and lift up. Look up, but don't crunch your neck to the back. Shoulders relaxed and down. Press your elbows into the side and down towards the hips. Believe it or not, everything you've been doing so far has been a warm-up for the floor postures. You can really work hard when it looks like you're doing nothing. Hold your buttocks. Tighten your legs. Pretend you're a sphinx. And come down slowly. Head to the other side. Relax. You're going to need this time to rest in between postures. So take advantage of it. You can shake your legs out if you want. But then try to lie absolutely still and let your breathing return to normal. All right, now on to some heavy duty stuff. Tilt to the right, put your hand under your right hip, roll onto it. Other hand underneath the body, roll onto it. Put your chin on the floor. And lift up with the right leg. Point hard to the back wall. Lift, but lengthen and point hard. Tighten your buttocks. Whole leg absolutely straight and locked. Hold. And breathe, even though it's a little bit strange in this position. And come down with control. Other leg up. Don't let your hips move off your arms. 
bottom leg relaxed. All the work goes into one leg. And bring it down. Now place your mouth against the floor this time and prepare to lift both legs off the floor. First, press your hands into the mat, spread your fingers as wide as you can, get yourself set. You're going to do a big inhale and then you're going to come up on an exhale. Ready? Inhale deeply and come up. The final humiliation, nose to the floor. This really works the back of the legs, the hips, and the strength of the lower back. Feet together. And come down. Wiggle out those tootsies. Pick your arms out from under you. Do whatever you want. And relax. That really works the buttocks muscles and the legs. And of course the back muscles. And once again, gives you a lot of aerobic activity. Your breathing becomes much stronger very quickly. The heartbeat also rises rapidly. All right, should we keep our momentum up? Go on to the second set. Good. And left hand under the body. Other hand, palm down on the mat. Both hips onto the arms. Spread your fingers wide. Okay. And up with the right leg. Point hard. Cramps in the feet can be a nuisance but they're not serious. Just flex your feet and continue. And come down. Left leg. Those legs up there, no matter what it takes. Just imagine that they're going up and make it happen. Run together. to do the full locust. Arms out to the side, shoulder height. Tighten your buttocks again. Legs straight and tight. Toes pointed, feet together. On the inhale, prepare to raise your arms and legs up to the same time. Arms out to the side like a bird. And inhale. There's a steady progression of difficulty in the floor postures, from the cobra to the locust, and now the full locust. And come down. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Arms to the side and relax. These poses look sometimes a little easier than the standing postures, but in fact they're not. It's a lot of work, a lot of concentration, 
a lot of use of strength and building of strength. Second set. Arms to the side, shoulder height. Tighten your buttocks one more time. Inhale deeply. There you go, flying like a bird. You need a lot of positive thinking and mental images. See yourself in the posture and go there. You're going to feel awkward at first, but don't let that stop you. And come down. Head to the opposite side. Okay. Last of the backward bending series. The bow pose, take a hold of the right foot, reach around, get the left foot, knees about six inches apart. And now we're going to raise both legs off the floor by kicking the legs back and up. Inhale nicely and deeply, and kick. Relax, but don't snooze. I'd love to doze off right about now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just stop short of dozing and let the light come in. Second set. Pick up your right foot, reach around to the back, pick up your right foot, reach around to the left, pick up your left foot. Settle yourself, knees six inches apart, inhale and kick up. If you find it difficult to grab hold of your feet behind you, or your knees start to give you trouble, that's normal in the beginning. Just keep trying. How are you doing? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good. Stay a little bit longer and come down. Oh. Relax, head to the other side. Let the tension pour out of you and melt into your mat. You'll be happy to know that you're done with the toughest part of the floor postures. Now we'll begin the fine tuning. And put your ha hands on the floor, press off, go back and sit on your heels. Stretch. Ooh. Stretch your back out. That feel good? Mm -hmm. uh, you get kind of tight back here. And walk forward to the front of your mat. Sit down on your heels again. Or do the kneeling pose. Open the toes and drop your hips to the mat. Now, hands on the feet, back on the right elbow, left elbow. Drop your head, release the neck, scoot your shoulders up, and bring your head down. Clasp your elbows over your head, and feel the pull all down the front of the thigh. And breathe. This can be difficult sometimes for men, it's a little more muscular. If you have trouble with your knees, just open them up a little bit. That'll work just as well. 
and come up, place your hands on your feet, up on the elbows, right hand, left hand, and turn around, lie down on the mat, roll your spines out, and relax. Palms up, and breathe. Just when you're really exhausted and sweating, I'm gonna revitalize you now. Hands over the head. Inhale. Grab a hold of your feet and pull hard, stretch, lay down over the legs. And turn around, sit on the back of your mat. This time, arms over the head, just like we did in the standing postures. Inhale, and come forward from the hip. Touch your toes to the mat. Bring your arms as far forward as possible. Drop your forehead down. Don't squash your nose into the floor. That's not necessary. This pose is called the half tortoise. Why? Nobody knows. But what I do know is that it stretches the spine, clears the head, and feels absolutely terrific. And inhale and come up in one line. Arms down to the side. Oh. Turn around and relax on your mat. Keep your mind in the present. Don't let it wander out on phone calls and business and errands and thousands of worries. Hands over the head. Inhale. Come up. Grab those toes. Stretch long, hard. Body down on the thighs. And turn around. Walk forward on your towel. We're going to do the camel pose. Hands on the hips. Fingers up, the fingers down. Whichever feels the best to you. And press your hips forward. Drop your hand back. Feel the stretch all to the front of the body. Take a hold of your right knee. Take a hold of your left knee. Press forward with the hips even more over the chest. Don't be afraid to go back all the way. Release your tensions and do what you can very slowly. Press now come up slowly. Hands and the hips one at a time. Sit back on your heels and boot breath. Roll that spine. Turn around. And relax on your mat. Roll it out again. And palms up. Breathe. We're on the home stretch now. Things start to lighten up after the second set of the camel. over the head again. Inhale and sit up. Grab a hold of your toes and stretch. Pull those heels up. Switch your hips out the back. And super stretch. Turn around for the second set of the camel pose. This time it'll go better. Open up the knees. Make them really nice and solid. Press them into the floor. Feet only six inches apart. Hands on the hips and press forward. When you arch back, take a firm hold of the right heel, then the left heel. Feel the stretch all along the front of the body. Press forward with the hips. Open the chest. Keep gripping those heels. 
and release the lower back. If you do them slowly and carefully and feel yourself moving in and out of them, you won't hurt yourself. And you can keep going further and further. You don't have to jerk. You don't have to strain. And hands over the head. Inhale. And sit up. Over the toes. Killer stretch. And turn around, let's do the wrap. Sit down at the back of your towel this time, onto the heels. And this time, we're going to curl the back inward, like that. So, take hold of the heels with both hands, grab tight, tight grip. Drop your chin to your chest, and now if you can, your head to your knees, or just on the towel ahead of them and roll forward like a wheel. Bring your hips up. Don't let go of your heels. Rip tight. And breathe. Try not to put too much weight on your head and neck. Don't crunch them into the mat. Take the weight in your arms as they pull against your heels. Your throat should feel a little choked in this position, but that's good because it stimulates the thyroid. And breathe. Mm. concentration out of the face think positive thoughts turn your palms to the mat downward and press against it slightly we're going to do the shoulder stand press against your mats and raise your legs slowly into the air and up on the shoulders support your lower back with your hands your elbows pressed against the mat beneath you. Chin to the chest. And hold. Feel like Esther Williams in a dive. down to the floor behind you and touch it and come on left foot down to the floor and touch it and come on legs down to the floor, pointed toes, touch them behind your head, and 
flex your feet. It took me a long time to get this far myself, so proceed with caution. And now, drop your knees to the mat beside your head, if you can. Relax your neck. If you feel any discomfort in the neck and shoulders, roll out of it slowly. And straighten the legs. Reach around with your arms slowly. Everything in slow motion. Take a hold of your ankles. And roll your spine down onto the mat very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Concentrate, control. When you get to the lower back, the legs will pull away from the body a little bit. Let them do that. And let the lower back and tailbone release onto the mat very slowly. Bring your legs up perpendicular. Hands face down on the mat and lower the legs slowly. Use the abdominals. When you get them not quite down, a few inches off the floor, hold them. Hold, hold, hold. After being upside down in the shoulder stand, just lie still for a moment and give yourself a chance to equalize. Feel what's happening in your body and let your energy shift very slowly back to normal before going on. Arms over the head. Inhale. And sit up. Take off your feet and stretch it out hard. Turn around. We're going to do the stretching cycle. This is where all the stretching really pays off. Put your right leg out, bring your left foot into the upper thigh, sit tall, lift your body, arms over the head. Interlock your fingers, stretch. Go over the right leg, grab the toes, pull them hard. Knee down to the floor, get to the knee. And hold. And come up and change your legs. Bring your left leg in, place your foot on the upper thigh. <clears throat> Arms over the head. And stretch out. Take hold of the toes and pull. Drop the head to the knee. Elbows all the way down to the core if you can. Don't strain. Breathe. Stretch. Breathe. Feel your body. Release. Feel what's going on. And come up. Both legs together. Move forward on your mat just a little bit. Lie back. Inhale. And swing up hard. Grab a hold of the feet and bring your face down on your legs. Pull. Now. Second try, reach those hips out and back, shimmy them back, right, left, right, left, scoot them. Pull on those feet. Now take a hold of your two big toes, the two fingers of your hands. And pull those heels up. Keep your feet and your legs in one line, don't let your feet lost, go up and And pull again, right the tip of your tailbone, lie down on your legs and Touch your head to the toes if you can. Yeah. 
again. Up, sit tall. Walk your body down to the floor on your hands. You can't go down very far. Just rest them on your elbows wherever you can. Wait for the release. Breathe. Concentrate on the exhalation. Stretch your chin on the floor. Reach out and grab a hold of your toes and pull them down to the floor if you can. Left ear on the floor. Stretching, concentration, willpower, strength, determination, balance. Feel about 100% toned up, so arms over the head, inhale, and come up. Grab your toes, stretch out for one last time. And now we're going to do the spinal twist. Bend your left leg, sit squarely, both hips on the floor evenly, place the right foot just so the heel is touching the knee. Take your left arm, bring it around the outside of the leg, take a hold of the knee, sit nice and tall, straight back, and twist your spine around like a wet dish rag. Now as you come around in the sitting position, reach with your arm behind you and take hold of your hip or upper thigh on the other side and hold. <laughs> All right. If you can't go that far, there is another way. Marguerite, for instance, is doing a variation of the same pose. It'll give you just the same benefits as the one I'm doing. Now change sides. Bend your right leg. Bring your left leg across. Heel to the knee. Bring your right arm around, place it on the outside of the upper thigh, and sitting squarely on your hips, twist your body around. Head comes around last. If you can't get your head around, that's okay. Just feel your spine twisting and rotating, and sit tall. Get your grasp as well as you can, and if you're flexible enough, reach around, and take hold of the other hip and thigh. And breathe. Press your knee to the floor if you can, but don't sacrifice your nice straight back and your even hips for any of the other portions of the exercise. And twist out. Turn around and relax. <sighs> that feels great. <laughs> exercise, we're going to do the blowing exercise. Sit on your heels, back nice and straight. This one requires a little coordination. What you're going to do is think about blowing out with the lips and pulling in with the stomach at the same time. Let me show you. Got it? Okay. Here we go. We're going to do two sets of 60. Hands on the thighs and Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Relax. Is anyone dizzy? Hmm? A little lightheaded? Relax just a moment. Drop your head. And come up. This is the cleansing breath. Get you ready to go out. Have lots of energy. Let's do it again. And. That's it. You did it. Now turn around in your back and relax. Your time is yours and you deserve it. And this time close your eyes and your time is yours. exercise is composed of 28 postures. The first, no. This exercise is composed of 28 postures. Each of them should be done twice. The first set is designed to warm you up. The second set is to help you make quick progress. To help you make quick progress. This exercise is composed of 28 postures. Each of them should be done twice. The first set is designed to warm you up, and the second is to help you make quick progress. Lee, Nicole, Suzanne, anybody you like, or just... Can I see that card? Lee, Suzanne, Marguerite, Nicole, and Susan. Lee, Susan, Marguerite, Nicole, and Suzanne. Lee, Susan, Marguerite, Nicola, and Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Depending on your fitness level, your age, and even your body type. But don't let that stop you. And don't worry. Just do the best you can. You'll still get good results. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 